Now, leaders from the coast region from across the political divide are now fronting a unity of purpose in pursuit of development. In a one-of-a-kind meeting held in Nairobi today, Cabinet Secretaries Aisha Juma and Salim Mvuria, Speaker of the Senate, Amazon Kingi, and Pioneer Mombasa Governor Hassan Ali Joho sat across the same table. Our senior political affairs reporter, Ibrahim Karanja, takes a look at this new development and the potential impact. In what observers say may be a new dawn to the political direction of the coastal region, leaders from the six coastal counties put aside their political differences for a unity of purpose. Two cabinet secretaries, six governors, former governors and a host of members of parliament. Katika awamu hii ya miaka mitano ya serikali hii amo ilio kwa sasa ni vitu gani hivi ambavyo kama viongozi tunaweza shikana kusukuma ili kuleta maendeleo katika ukanda ule wa pwani in their midst pioneer mombasa governor ali hassan joho whose absence from public political engagements either in his azimio coalition or his party odm has been conspicuous we will look for the president we have tasked uh, governor mvuria i mean cs mvuria and cs asha and speaker kingi to reach out to the president so that we can quickly resolve, most importantly for now, the issues that touch on our ports. Mm. And then later on, we'll have a structured development engagement that touches on the people of the coastal mm. region. Mm. Am I clear? Mm. 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 Ikiwa hawa kujua kuleta uh, maendeleo pwani wakati wako katika uh, vyeo katika pwani na sasa ambao hawako katika vyeo vile sioni kama kuna mabadiliko kwa minajili ya maendeleo. Sasa kwa upande mwingine tutaona kwamba wameiga wenzao kutoka magharibi ya Kenya Western Kenya ambao tayari waliungana wakapeleka delegation kwa rais na wakat, wakatoa maombi yao na maombi yakaitika. But veiled as a unity of purpose in pursuit of development, this convergence may mean just more than that. And if indeed it lasts, its impact will be felt not only in the coastal region, but also nationally. To start with, it is the first time for Joho and Kingi to sit on the same table. The two were one-time strong mobilizers for Azimio leader Raila Odinga, but they fell out in the run-up to the 2022 general election. Their unity now and attempts to work with President Ruto could be a threat to Odinga's political influence in the region in favor of President Ruto. <laughs> Then there is the goings on at the National Dialogue Committee, which will soon be giving its report. This unity is seen as angling for the harvests from that discourse. Yet several realities may scuttle the unity attempts if not well handled. First off would be the scramble for positioning in whatever formation. With Joho and Kingi, both heavyweights in their own right, then there is local politics, such as the one pitting Eyala Member of Parliament Hassan Omar and Nyali lawmaker Muhammad Ali, and by extension, Mombasa Governor Abdul Swamad Nasir. In light of these developments, all the leaders here will begin to be the chess players, lest they find themselves as the pawns in a wide political game. Ibrahim Karanja, NTV.